Hello again viewers, welcome back to Richmond. Uh, we've been doing a little bit of track work uh, the last week as you uh, remember from our previous videos I've uh, replaced all these Enzo frog points here with uh, electro frog points and we've now moved on to the goods yard the goods yard is in and done so we'll start here we've got uh, an Enzo frog three-way point which I was putting in last week and then an Enzo frog door slip which I put in a couple of days ago and I'm very very happy with that it, uh, it all works nicely and there are point motors connected to it there's also point motors connected to the three-way uh, as you remember from a previous video I had to uh, insulate between the two with a piece of card um, we have yet to see how that works so we'll, we'll wait for the control panel to be built to uh, test it now the uh, good yard um, I was slightly worried about these curves because they look quite tight but my longest loco, which is the BR standard 5 there, has been tested on all these curves. In fact, all of my locos have been tested on these curves and they all go around absolutely fine. Now you may wonder what these gaps are in the uh, sleepers there. Um, that's a baseboard join, as you can see. So there'll be copper clad uh, sleepers fixed to the baseboard there. So that when we happen to take the layout apart, I'm not going to uh, damage the track and everything will line up when I put it back together, hopefully. Same um, here, although this one here, this point here, I forgot to move these sleepers, so we'll deal with that when we come to it. So, yes, so that's all the track down. Electro frog points everywhere, there and there. Uh, they are now the only two insole frog points on the entire layout. Now, there is some track work left to do. Um, if we just move this local out of the way here and uh, move the standard four down a bit. These two bits of track here are not fixed down, I mean, because they're only the baseboard join, and I haven't had a chance to get them sorted yet. And over in this corner here, where these uh, horse boxes and uh, grocery break coach are sitting, that point, that curved point there, a little piece of track, and the uh, length of sliding that those uh, vehicles are sitting on isn't fixed down yet, mainly because I need to uh, drill a hole for that point, and uh, I haven't really had a chance to do it. But uh, that's the next thing on the list, it'll give me uh, a little bit more siding space. So uh, that'll move over a little bit, we'll have two sidings there. And uh, then we can concentrate on the cassettes. So over here, the, uh, the fill is looking a bit empty because most of the stock's on the layout. So um, we're going with cassettes, four foot long cassettes. And that'll do away with that Y point and those three curve points. And the double track will sort of slew over that way and then round to get the maximum possible curvature and uh, then it will terminate sort of there and then we'll have four foot long cassettes which will poke out over the end here which is fine and then we'll have some storage shelves up there we plan to have several cassettes so that's all good oh yes I should also add that the next job is uh, painting the uh, baseboard we've got this uh, Wilco emulsion tester pots it's supernova it's like a a dark grey brown sort of colour and that'll do for the um, for the baseboard for the ground and then we can uh, if we need to we can paint dark brown over that at some point and also uh, put scatter or static grass down and uh, one of the other jobs to do to be done soon is underneath that lamp um, will be a turntable at some point and um, I haven't bought it yet uh, I was going to use a Pico turntable, but that's going to be too big. So we're going to uh, use a London Road Models turntable kit, which is a, I do believe, a model of a 50 foot turntable. So that'll be one of the next jobs as well in the coming months. And obviously the control panel, which will sit sort of there. And we'll have a little workspace here, then the controller will be just there. Or we might move the controller over and have the workspace there. We haven't decided yet. And uh, this is all typical railway model of clutter. There is some kind of uh, method to it, but uh, I don't quite know what it is. But uh, we'll just leave you with a quick shot of uh, my engines there, sitting on and off the track. And uh, speak to you soon. Bye bye.